to all the artists, producers, and writers who've, com who've contributed to any of my projects. To all my producers and writers who contributed to any of my projects. So basically, on the so Nikki herself basically admits that she has writers that contributes to her projects. Let me see when. When did Lotto tweet, you got writers, you just deny it. So it's like Nikki's a walking contradicting. Do you see what I, do you see what I mean? So basically, you discredit Cardi and say Cardi doesn't write. You got the fans saying that oh, partisan Fontaine wrote for Cardi. They dragged Cardi because of Nikki saying that Cardi doesn't write and that she writes all her own lyrics and she doesn't need anybody's help and she's 100% or whatever the case may be. I could pull up the videos. She drags Cardi for years upon years talking about Cardi's pen game and saying that she don't write. She said that Cardi needs a read along sheet and that people write for her and she reads along to it. She said that Cardi um she said um what else did she say about Cardi? The biggest thing she's ever said about Cardi was the writing, right? And it's like, you have the nerve to say all of that. And then you get on stage and you say, thanks for the writers that contributed to my project. And then you got your, but, but the, but, but, but the fan, but basically, so if that's what it is, if you acknowledge that you have writers, like Lotto said, why were you on Cardi's head all those years? Why were you discrediting Cardi when basically you're doing the same thing she does? The same things that Nikki is just said right now is what Cardi does. What Lotto does, what Megan does, for Simon Says, put your hands on your knees, whatever. That was a reference track. Lotto, um, I'm sorry, Megan wrote her verses and the hook is from this girl called Wolfa. They all do it. So it's like when Cardi does it, because she's jealous, it's wrong. It's, it's terrible. And if Lotto does it or if someone else does it that she don't like, it's, it's oh, she can't write. She's not credible. Oh, she, and then these stupid ass barbs. That makes them even more dumb because y'all sat up there and y'all listened to y'all leader, y'all God, who y'all made for yourselves. Y'all saw her drag Cardi for years for writing, saying that, oh, she's 100% with her pen and she don't need no help. And she's a writer. And she's saying that. And basically she was saying that, you know, Cardi can't write because she gets assistance. And people, the barbs would say, yeah, you know, Partis Partisan Fontaine, you know, he basically did, did a great, great job at, um, you know, like when tomorrow came out, you see the barbs basically saying, oh, partisan Fontaine did a great, great job with that verse. Basically shading Cardi like she didn't write that verse. Oh, who wrote that verse for Cardi? Only for the bitch to say herself that she has writers that contributes to her work. Only for us to find out about Brinks, Brinks Billion. I didn't even know about him. He filed a whole lawsuit against her for stealing his lyrics, his chorus, his verses. Only And then finally they credited him. His name is Jawara. Headley for rich sex only for her only for her to have Safari Samuels listed on at least six of her songs um as a writer and other writers too is listed on the um on, on her writing credits that's why she said all the writers that contributed like I said she has a list of people on her writing credits then she also um what else did she say It's just sad. It's like all this dragging and, and and then you have Blick Blick and then you have um her taking bars and her taking the flow of Blick Blick, Blick the writer for Blick Blick, the original one. His name is Jason. What is it? What is his name? Jason, Jason Lay. It's a Jason, the writer for Blick Blick, who gave the track, the reference track to Lotto. Lotto wrote to it. She didn't really what she passed on. They gave it to Koi. Koi basically used it and Nikki also used it and took some bars from it too and the flow. So basically, yes, all these different writers contribute to her music. But when Cardi basically does the same thing, it's a problem. She has to read along. Oh, Partisan Fontaine. Okay, well, if that's the case, if y'all want to say Partisan Fontaine wrote, now it's going to be Bricks Billion wrote that. Every single verse that Nikki ever comes out with, I'm going to say shout out to Brinks Billion. That's exactly what I'm going to say. Because that's what basically the barbs do. Oh my God, Partisan Fontaine. What? Cardi made it very clear from day one that she writes and she also collaborates with other people. Nikki is the one that basically made it seem like 
she's the only one that basically really, really be pushing her pen as if she don't have no other help. And for her to get on an award show and say, writers contributed to my work, that's the same thing all these girls do. So why were you discrediting Cardi? And that just shows you, Nikki's so dumb, that just shows you how much envy and hate she has for Cardi and how the issue was never about writing. It was never about, you know, anything. It was all about jealousy because y'all do the same damn thing and the receipts drop. It's not just people saying it, the receipts, the track record, the reference tracks, the lines that she took, Brinks Billion, all of that, it dropped. We see it. So it's like, that's why I'm like, why did you do that? Why did you do that? Why? Why? You know what I'm saying? Let me pull up videos of this girl talking about, oh, I'm I'm, going to pull up some things because this is sad. And it's like, you know who referenced me to this video? This is a barb who actually referenced me. It's like, first, y'all going off about her, you know, writing 100%. She ain't got no writers. She gets exposed. And then all of a sudden, well, she did say that she had writers and she contributed. So what, y'all backpedaling now? But I thought you said that, that Cardi had a real long sheet. I thought you said that, you know, Nikki writes everything and she needs no help. I thought that's what y'all pride and joy. Y'all always used to basically, you know, go crazy about that. Yeah, her pen, her pen. Now her pen has been exposed. She has multiple pens with her. Now y'all want to backpedal. Y'all, y'all want to backpedal and pussy pop. And now y'all want to admit that she has writers because y'all have no choice. So basically the barb see that she got fucking exposed. So to save face, now y'all want to say, yeah, she, you know, got help for hooks, not verses. If she got help for the hooks, that means she got a writer. Dummy. Oh, well, you know, she said, she been said she had writers. So why was y'all on Cardi ass? And why the fuck were y'all, were y'all bullying Lotto and bullying Cardi about it? And why the fuck were you making it seem like Nikki 100% writes her records? how she does if y'all so-called know she has writers no y'all changed y'all tune when she got fucking exposed she got exposed now these bitches they don't have you 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 can't there's the facts are out you cannot argue with the facts now instead of arguing with them they're trying to spin the narrative and say well she been said she had writers well she has but she made it seem like she 100 percent wrote though she she made it seem she's a walking contradiction a walking contradiction. You bashing people for their pen and you got a pen that's linked to other pens. You bashing Cardi for not for, for having getting assistance with her raps and collaborating with others, and you got other and you yourself say that you got writers that contributed to your project. So you can do it, but Cardi can't. Exactly. Like don't ever come out your fucking mouth about Cardi ever again. Cardi suck Cardi's dick. Don't come out your motherfucking mouth about Cardi ever the fuck again. Okay, don't talk about no partisan Fontaine shit, because at least Cardi was very real about the process. A lot of was real about the writing process. You idiots sat up there and heard Nikki say all this shit about Cardi. Oh, Cardi's pen, whatever, whatever. And oh, blank sheets of paper. You know, uh, no, um, partisan Fontaine wrote that verse tomorrow. He did that. Because. Supposedly, Nikki doesn't. Con- the, Nikki has no contributors. She writes everything on her own. The barbs are screaming. Now she don't write. She, nobody writes for her. That, that's what they screaming. But then the result, the, the then the receipts drop, and now it's like, oh well, you know, she just get hooks. Bitch, why you backpedaling? Keep that same fucking energy. Oh well, you know, she admitted she does have writers. Bitch, so why was she talking shit, acting like she don't? Why was she coming for Cardi? If she knows she got writers, and if she said it, why would she come for Cardi? Not all these fucking mentally ill-ass, cult-ass fans, they want to backpedal because they back against the wall. Y'all are pathetic. Y'all are mentally unstable, including Nicki Minaj. Because if you know what it is and you get on stage and say it, why are you bullying somebody for doing the same shit you do? Idiot. Don't ever come out your fucking mouth about Cardi ever a fucking again. Partisan Fontaine, okay, Brinks Billion. That's what we going with now. Okay, Jason Lay. I'm going to find that motherfucker too. Okay, because he wrote, um, he was on we he wrote on we go up, and he wrote also on busting, and and the big energy he he um con- he wrote he contributed to big energy with Lotto Lotto and him Lotto and him wrote that together, and yes, it's him and with Lot and when Lotto said we all have the same writers, he was the one that did big energy with Lotto, and he also did um. 
um some of Nikki records too. And so when Lotto said we all got the same writers, everybody was the dog. No, no, that's not true. Boom, receipts drop. Not everybody fucking. Not everybody got. A, a, they changing a story. Not everybody spinning a narrative. Not everybody wanna. Man, get the fuck out of here. Y'all are lame. And that's why. I, that's why I love God because when you do fuck shit and when you disrespect people and when you basically try to discredit someone, your truth is gonna come out. Everything that's in the dark comes to light, and it finally came to the light that. All these years that she'd been accused of Cardi of not pushing her pen, all these years she used to brag about writing on her own and needing no help, it, it came out. It came out. And But, but my thing is, I want to know when that argument happened between her and Lotto, I want to know when that was. How long? I'm off with a video shoot today. I got a off with a video shoot today. But I just need to let y'all know, inspirational motherfucking message, bitch. What God got for you, nobody can take it away. No matter who you is, no matter what you say, you can't be God. Y'all can talk shit all day, every day, and guess what? I'm still going to win because guess what? God on my side and a hundred motherfuckers can't tell me nothing. Bitch, what's up? Yeah, every time you pray on my downfall, I ain't going to do shit but go up and up every time. You know? So the, you hear that, Barbs? Whatever you try to do. Whatever weapon you try to throw these girls away, it will not prosper. It hasn't. Y'all talk so much shit. Only thing that ever happens is y'all fave getting exposed. Okay? Cardi don't write. Bitches is right. Bitch, that bitch using... That bitch stealing bars from other people. From Brinks Billion, down to Safari, writing credits all up and down other people. I push my pen only for all these reference tracks to drop. And you got Nicki Minaj. Oh my God, the writer, the pen pusher. She's the, she's taking bars and flow from the original songwriter. And then it's like this the discrediting and the disrespect and the sim, the sympathy and the payola. All that shit that she did to Cardi and all the the shit that she said about Lotto, all these things that she said only for her to be doing the same thing like Lotto said. And Glorilla, basically her message, I know this is the day after all of Lotto's um, tracks released. I think this was a great move that it was released, though, because guess what? If they released it to be malicious, it did, it, it did good, if anything, because it exposed Bia, it exposed, exposed Quella Ray, and it exposed Nicki. Lotto already said she got writers. She was honest about it. Cardi was honest about it. Nikki always lied and always said that her pen works and, it, you know, she doesn't need any help or anything like that. Okay? Always. Always, always, always used to, you know, just talk about my pen, my pen, my pen. Even changed her Abby on Twitter as a, a pen. Basically, you know, you basically, other people write for you. That's what she pretty much was saying that's what she said and all her barbs they used to make fun of cardi because of what she said they would every time cardi would do something they would say no partisan fontaine wrote that okay well bitch brinks billion wrote for nikki and that other nigga wrote for nikki too fuck is you talking about okay everything that's in the dark comes to light don't ever fuck with don't ever fix your motherfucking hot ass mouths and motherfucking mentally ill brains to come for cardi's pen ever fucking again don't ever in your fucking life fix your mouth to come for Cardi ever fucking again because y'all can't. Okay? Because y'all fave been lying all these years and discrediting all these other girls only for her to be doing the same shit that these other girls are doing. All that hate for what? That's pathetic. Nicki Minaj is pathetic as fuck. Envious as fuck. Evil as fuck. And her barbs are the same way, mentally ill, unstable, unloved, unimportant, unworthy, just terrible. They feel like shit. That's why they get on the internet and they do shit like this. All this dragging, partisan Fontaine, whole time, Brinks Billion. Whole time, I, I believe the man name who did the reference track for Lotto and Koi and Nikki, um, it was, his name is Jason. He did Big Energy with Lotto. I got to go back. I got to go back. You know the shit? You know the shit? I don't think you is. I think you legal. I think y'all legally blind around this motherfucker, bitch. Cause ho, wait, guess what? Guess what, bitch? I'm glowing, bitch. I look good, ho. Oh. Bitch, I got a mop. 
So, yeah, like, basically everything that Nikki did to try to discredit these girls, it never worked. Whatever God has for you, like Glow said, it's going to be for you. Nikki tried to sabotage Glow's Grammy nomination by trying to get the Grammys to move um, Lotto to pop. And she ended up with zero nominations, okay? Humble, God sat her ass down. And now, oh, Cardi, you know, she don't write. Lotto, she don't write. I got a pen, okay? Partisan Fontaine write all her lyrics. What happened? Reference track leaks. What? Who is she copying after? Who who bars she took? Brinks and um that other dude for Lotto's big energy. So Lotto was right. They all used the same lyrics. The the uh, they all use the same um writers. And basically, she uses and takes bars and flows from other reference tracks and other writers. But yet she used to push this narrative that her pen is alone and she don't get no help. Only for her to get exposed yesterday. You know what I'm saying? So everything she has done has come full circle. Calling little Kim old and washed up and now she's super freaky granny. Super freaky grandma. You see how karma works? Now she's the old hag. Now she's the dirty old rag that needs to be washed. Now she's washed, dried, and folded. Okay? Oh, she used to talk to, she talked about Cardi's face. Now look at her. They talk about her body. She got like 12 stomachs and she needs 12 different lipo, lipo reproduction. She needs 12 different, different lipo procedures to remove those 12 stomachs. She rolls around the stage like a basketball because she's shaped like one. Big as hell, inflated like a balloon, rolling around trying to dance. Nothing's moving. Stiff, fat as, fat as I don't know what. Looking like a turkey, greased up, looking like she's been drinking Crisco oil her whole life. Looking like she just drink oil just straight to the head. Like instead of, you know, jugging on water, look like she just drink oil and eat butter all her life. That's what she looked like, okay? But has the nerve to come for Cardi's beautiful self when she's basically shaped like or built like my apartment complex. Get the fuck out of here. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, you know... What what's in the dark comes to light for sure. And I'm happy that all of these things are coming out because we see Nicki Minaj for the fraud she is. Okay. How you could how could you drag someone and you yourself said you got writers? But she said that after. We're gonna I'm gonna show y'all. Lotto. Be a lotto. Be a lotto. Be a lotto. Okay, so when did um these tweets come out? She put 10, 14, 22. I'll post them my damn self. They'll all tell you before. I'll post them my damn self. They'll all tell you I write too. I heard a few of your refs before. They came out too, boo. You forgot we all... <laughs> I'll post to my damn self. They'll all tell you I wrote too. I heard a few of your refs before they came out too, boo. Basically referencing to Nikki. You had, she has reference tracks sent to her and she used the bars of the original writer. That's what Lada was saying. She heard them before. You forgot we all collab with the same writers. Difference is I don't deny it. The world's seen me writing since 16 on national TV though. And that's on and that's on period. And that's on period. And this is gonna be my um mother freaking um thumbnail because y'all hoes got like what? This is what she said. Who wanna hear the reference tracks of scratch off ghost writers rapping her bars? She used me and the barbs in every interview until that album sold double wood. Now she wiping that spray tan off and being a Karen. They black when it's beneficial. So basically, Nikki right here, she's basically um she's basically denying having ghostwriters. She's basically throwing shade at other people. Who wanna hear the the reference tracks of Scratch Off? This was what October the thirteenth, twenty twenty two. Who wanna hear the reference tracks of Scratch Off? Um, ghostwriters rapping her bars. She used me and the barbs in every interview until that album sold double wood. Now she wiping that spray tan off and being a Karen. They black when it's beneficial child. That was so racist. And it says this tweet has, okay, that was so freaking racist. And that was so unnecessary to call her Karen. That was fucked up. That was fucked up. So basically, she was trying to shame Lotto for having reference tracks and having and, and saying, oh, she got ghostwriters and rapping her bars. 
and Blick Blick Drops, which is a reference track. And the person who basically, you know, um, wrote the track or um, did the reference is the Jason guy, sent it to Lotto. Lotto didn't want it. It went to Koi. Koi basically, the hook, that she kept the hook. Koi basically edited, kept some bars of the original writer and wrote her own bars. And Nikki did the same thing. She mimicked the flow of the reference writer, the flow. Holla, holla, holla. That's not her flow. That's the original writer's flow. And then after that, some of the bars that the original writer, um, what you call it? What am I, some of the, some of the, um, what is it? Some of some of the the lyrics that the writer, the original writer, had written, Nicki Minaj used when she said "holla holla holla," all my diamonds got color color color, fa la 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 la, and she got the flow as well. So you you use reference tracks, okay? And you got ghost writers, quote unquote, rapping your bars because the, the, those are not your bars. You took the songwriter, the reference track, you took some of the bars from there and put it in your verse for Blick Blick. For for um rich for rich, what is it called? The rich um what you call it? The rich um sex, her chorus that she sings or raps or whatever the case may be, that was written by um uh Brink's Billion. Okay? That's pretty much Brink's Billion. That's his um verse in his chorus word for word and when you listen to Nicki Minaj Nicki Minaj's verse she flips around this man's lyrics or whatever uses his lyrics but just flips them around and even used some of his lyrics and kept them in and then the rest she flipped it around so it's like do you see how like conniving Nicki Minaj is blaming and shaming Cardi and everyone else for not writing and having reference tracks when she got reference tracks. Like Lotto said, Lotto said she got reference tracks and this bitch says she didn't. This bitch was shaming Lotto and Cardi and was doing the same thing the whole time. Holla, 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 idiot. So fucking dumb. And that's exactly why when you get, when you get caught the fuck up, when you run your mouth, you get caught the fuck up. So now she's at the, that was on in October. Um, and it's crazy because when was the, that was the, um, when did she go to Vanguard? This was October the 13th that she tweeted dissing Lotto for having reference tracks. Then Lotto basically um, responded like the next day saying, you know, I said that already and I write too, which Lotto did write. Lotto wrote Big Energy and she wrote it with um, another person. What's his name? I got to get it. Um, okay. All right, so let me go. That was August, that was um September. I'm sorry, October the 13th and the 14th that Nikki shaded um yeah, the 13th and Nikki shaded her for having reference tracks and then Lotto said, "You must have forgot that I got reference tracks that you spit on that um that basically was written for you too." And that's when Nikki went ghost and everybody was like, "Damn, she didn't respond to that. She didn't respond because basically she got exposed." She was talking shit and Lotto was like, I got your reference tracks too. I got I got tracks of people writing for you too. And you ended up putting it on your song. I got that too. And she went ghost after that. You feel me? She didn't speak nothing else. And then she called her a Karen and all of that. It was like just terrible. But let me see something really quick. So basically, this is Nicki Minaj in September 9, 10, 22. Me running shit 15 years later after corporate giants and machines used lab rats, the lab rats being um, Cardi and Megan and all of them, to bring me down. But then I pushed out Papa Bear and got back in the game because I don't need to wait for ghost writers to finish getting their dick sucked. I can go. I can just go in with juice and rattle the culture. So she's basically saying that she don't need no ghost writers and basically she can, she can just walk in the studio and go in with juice, meaning she can just go in and do it on her own. 
That's the that's the that's how what she's been selling for all these years. I do it on my own. And she says she don't need ghostwriters, but yesterday you do got a ghostwriter. You do got um uh people that basically are unknown that literally um you took bars from and you had to credit one of them because you got sued, which was Brinks. And you know, you said and and then you said yourself you got writers, but then it's like you go back. <laughs> She's stupid, bro. Like just mental illness. I'm telling you, it's it's very clear. September, she's basically talking about, you know, I don't have to wait for ghostwriters. Basically, she's saying she don't have anybody, no reference tracks, nobody that, you know, um, sends a track for her or whatever the case may be. And then we all found out that's a lie. And then that September, October, she says the same thing. Lotto basically coming for her, saying that, oh, you got reference tracks. And she got reference tracks. So she was basically hating on Lotto. That was another lie. Basically, you know, I write and whatever, whatever, whatever. And then, but it's like September, October, she's shading. Just August, she was like, you know, thanks for the writers that contributed to my project. I think that she thought that that was going to go over people's heads. But you know who pointed that out to me? It was a barb that's under my comments right now that pointed that out to me. And they're so dumb because this further proves my case. The girl is sick. I don't know if she thought that that went over our heads and people didn't catch it because obviously people weren't thinking about it or talking about it. She basically said it and it went over people's heads and people didn't, were not talking about it because it was so quick. It was like a one second, you know, thank you to the writers that contributed to my project. That was in August. She accepted her Vanguard. The very next month, she's accusing um, people like Cardi and everybody for having ghostwriters and reference tracks. That was the very next month. She accused, you know, um, the girls of having ghostwriters. Then the month after that, October, she's talking about reference tracks. She basically is talking about reference tracks and ghostwriters. And then here we are today in November, the very next month from after October, and reference tracks for her and Koi basically are sent. And <laughs> literally, I cannot... Reference tracks are sent to her and Koi. <laughs> and she's taking bars. She's taking bars and she's taking flow. And, you know, then people are doing more research and it's like they're pointing out to me, girl, this is not the first time. Like, I know she stole Kim lyrics, but this is not the first time, you know, like there's this person called Brinks. I look him up. I listen to his lyrics. I'm like, oh, my God, word for word. She took it word for word. That's why she got sued in 2021. How you go from admitting you thought it went over everybody's head because it was only a second you mentioned the writers. So that everybody didn't get that. The Barb's got it, though. Thank you for proving my point. And then. Then you go back the next month to fuck shit and saying that, oh, they got ghostwriters. And then the next month you're shading Lotto. Oh, she got reference or whatever. And you can post them. And then this month your references get dropped and posted and exposes Bia, Koi, and you. Yeah, that's embarrassing. So Nikki definitely has a history of discrediting. And I'm going to pull up more receipts. Okay, we digging up old tweets, okay? So this was June. I'm sorry. This was June 6, 2019. Cardi B has always been very open and transparent because I do write a lot of my shit. That's the thing. Yes, just like every other artist, I do have a couple writers that help me with hooks, but I wrote plenty of songs on my album, especially my mixtape. Y'all just flip shit and y'all want to believe the fuck shit so bad, but eat it up, bitch. She deleted that tweet. Let's read that again because I do write a lot of my shit. That's the thing. Yes, just like every other artist, I do have a couple writers that help with hooks, but I wrote plenty of songs on my album, especially my mixtape. Y'all just flip shit and y'all want to believe the fuck shit so bad. So <clears throat> basically, Cardi already, like Lotto, admitted that. Um, she writes a lot of her own shit. Like every other artist, she has a couple of writers, which basically was exposed. Uh, well, not Cardi being exposed, but Nikki was exposed and Bia and Koyla Ray. Um, yes, just like every other artist, I do have a couple writers that help with hooks, but I wrote plenty of songs on my album, especially my mixtape. So 
it's like her mixtape days especially she was definitely writing because she didn't have like a team of she wasn't even out yet like that she didn't have a team she was definitely using her pen crazy when she got bodak yellow wrote bodak yellow went to the top um when she did that that's when she got access to a record deal and she had access to all these wonderful, amazing, talented writers that help her with hooks, you know, and, you know, help her with different areas of the song. She writes, like she said, she writes just how Lotto wrote Big Energy and um, another writer collaborated with her. And Cardi basically writes as well. And in certain songs, she may collaborate with another writer. But this is what all of them do, like, like exact, like extremely, like l not extremely, but literally, this is what they all do. But Nikki basically, literally, <laughs> she used to sit up there and dog Cardi B like a dog, like, like literally had her fans discrediting Cardi, yelling, "Oh, Partisan Fontaine wrote that. Oh, who wrote that for her?" Like, cause of the narrative that Nikki put out. Like, you had fans hashtagging write a rap because of Nikki. Um, JT was calling her untalented and, you know, it's really sad. It's really sad. All of these things is coming out about Nikki, you know, um, her lies, her getting caught up in her lies all the time. I'm happy this is all coming out. You know, that's why I mess with Cardi. I love Cardi because she's honest and she tells you the truth. And Lotto too. She told you exactly what Cardi said. We all have the same writers and, and to prove that I got to go to big energy. Hey guys, so um, I'm back. So basically, you know, I was basically recording, but the the broke, it's a whole lot of money in a month. That song, okay, the reference that you guys hear, it's up here. If you go on B, a whole lot of money, the reference, the chorus is the hook is basically written by the um original writer. The the writer's name is Jason Lay. He did Big Energy with Lotto, and he also did Blick Blick with Coyle Ray and Nicki Minaj, I believe. So, like Lotto said, they all have the same writers. Um, Jason Lay, he did Blick Blick. He did Energy with Lotto, and he did um whole lot of money. And um, wait, 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 hold on. He did um Big Energy, and him and a Lotto wrote together. Then you have, yeah, whole lot of money. And Blick Blick. So they all share the same writers, like Lotto said. So basically, the the hook he wrote, ain't, no, ain't gonna keep me around no broke shit that broke shit get old. Ain't gonna keep me around no whole shit. These hoes get too bold. Lotto, if you listen to her reference, she switches up the um uh the words a little bit. Instead of ain't, she says, can't keep, can't go. She said, can't keep me, can't keep me around no broke shit that broke shit get old. Instead of saying ain't, she said, can't. Can't keep me around no whole shit. And she spit a whole different bar that's different from these hoes get too bold. And she doesn't say I'm allergic to that no shit. My wrist came on cold. She changed that part too. I might paint a coupe white just to match with my toes. She changed that too. So basically, um, Lotto took a little bit of the pre court the she, she took a little bit of um what is it? She took a little bit of the hook. Uh what am I saying? Um so what um Lotto did when they sent her the reference, she basically took basically the hook, which is what you're looking at right here. Ain't gonna keep me around no broke shit that broke shit get old. She saw what L London J wrote and she was like, okay. And so basically she created her own lyrics and edited, like instead of saying ain't, she said keep, can't. And then she switched up the whole verse for ain't, um, ain't gonna keep me around no whole shit. These hoes get too bold. She said can't. And she spit a whole nother line and everything else, the rest of the bar, she spit a different kind of bar. So basically she um, uh, took the chorus from London J and she basically wrote her own lyrics to it. Bia, this is basically Bia. She used the exact same um, hook that London J, the, 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 the reference track owner, the, the songwriter of Whole Lot of Money. He basically... Um, the person who made the hook, he basically sent over the hook, and this is the original hook. Bia took the hook, and she even admitted that um, Jason did the hook. He, This is his hook. So Bia, word for word, basically is doing the hook, reciting basically what Jason wrote as the hook. 
they were like, oh, they need to have a read. Something about um came out. Above. They were like, oh, Cardi just reads her lyrics from a paper. And here goes Bia, word for word, saying word for word what Jason Lay wrote down. He wrote the, the chorus. And so instead of switching the chorus around and making it her own like Lotto did, because when you listen to Lotto's, it's different. Bia, word for word, like a paper, she did a read along and she literally was reading what, you know, Jason Lay um had written and basically said okay yeah this is exactly what i'm gonna say okay well let me get the um phone and okay yeah, i'm in the booth ain't gonna keep me running no broke shit that broke shit get old like literally reading jason lay's um course she was the one doing the read along and a lot of when she got the reference track she flipped it so it's like all the things that people were um all the things nikki accused cardi of read along oh my pen oh um you know, go, you know, she, Carter don't write and Partisan Fontaine, this, that, and the third, it all comes full circle. You use these reference tracks from different artists, from different songwriters. You definitely have ghostwriters, quote unquote, as well. You definitely um, take their bars and their flow. You definitely even admit it on stage that you have writers that contribute to your project. So I don't understand why you were slandering Cardi. What happened was she was at that Vanguard and she had to basically really give people their props. She knows that she didn't do those projects all by herself. So quickly for like a half a second, she said, thanks to all the writers that contributed to my um my music, my projects, and boom, she went on to the next. Like basically it was so quick, nobody caught it. Cause I, I didn't watch the Vanguard, but I, I saw what she did. It, it She said it real quick and moved on and nobody got it. And nobody got it, which was the intent quick move on so people won't catch it but thanks bob for for pointing that out because she herself admitted that she actually gets references as well and they contribute and so all that whole i write by myself i do it i don't need no help and you know uh what else did she say what else is what, what else did she say um i write i write basically i don't need you know basically you know just silly you know you guys so i mean if y'all want to go to see the reference track for lotto it's and go read be and go read bia's chorus it's the same exact chorus from jason lay the read-along is really bia and lotto her version she switched up the lyrics so basically she made the lyrics her own she made the song and the chorus her own so yes they all have the same writers because jason lay he sent blick blick to quella ray and you know um nikki took stuff from jason lay's verse uh, what'd you call it Nikki took um bars from from the Blick um from uh the original writer's bars, like his composition of it. She basically took um bars from the original songwriter, Jason Lay for Blick Blick. So that reference that they got for Blick Blick, Coyle Ray went ahead and used it and changed up a few lines and kept some of Jason's lines and Nicki Minaj did the same. And then Bronx, you know, a billion, uh, Brinks billion. She copied the whole fucking chords. Just how Bia took the chords from um Jason Brinks billion. She took the whole chords for Rich Sex from Brinks. Brinks um wrote that chorus. And then um in the verses, she took Brinks's lyrics and also kept some and then flipped some around. You know, it's like kept some lyrics and then flipped them around. And that and and basically it was so. And at that time, I don't think he was credited because she sued him because he sued her in 2021. Like she literally copied and pasted, basically flipped the lyrics around saying the same things that she's saying. And then it's like the freaking um, chorus is the exact same as what he wrote. And then finally, I see he was credited in that lawsuit. It's nowhere to be found and it's non-existent right now. I don't hear about it because most likely he didn't have a credit and then they credited him and now he gets paid from, you know, getting that credit, that publishing. Cause she basically tried to take that song and make it, you know, and, and, and put his lyrics together and pass it off as hers. And he was not going to get paid. She was still, and she stole it. Finally, he got credited. You know what I'm saying? And that's why the lawsuit probably just went ahead and dissolved. But all in all, guys, you know, I just wanted to show y'all how God, like how life just works. Like you try to put somebody down, you trying to do this, you trying to do that in the third. And it's like always somebody waiting, always somebody waiting for you um, as well. Always somebody waiting for you 
as well. You trying to put people down the, the grave, you dig for other people, you're going to fall in it. You know what I'm saying? The the the, the wish you bad on others, bad is going to follow you. And that's all that's following Nicki Minaj. Because, like, literally all these reference tracks, you know, for these girls that used to diss Cardi on the Nicki Minaj train, all them hoes, including Nicki Minaj, use Ghost Riders and reference tracks. They take some of the lyrics, leave some. They get a hook, they write their verses. They take some bars, they leave some. Or they keep the bars and then they write um, uh, 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 new bars. Either way, it's like basically a collaboration happening. You know? So, yeah. It's just, it's just really, really sad. But, you know, now it's like the barbs... Don't ever come for um Cardi ever again. You can't. You simply can't. The receipts are out. Okay. Brinks Billion, you know, um Jason Lay, you simply can't, sweetheart. So when y'all say partisan Fontaine, I'm gonna say Jason Lay and Brinks Billion. Yep, that's exactly what I'm gonna say. <laughs>